Hello guys, this is the FPS save again, and then I'm using the HVK this uh, game. It's on Skyjack, and I get a nuclear in this gameplay, which is pretty good. Uh, it's a, I didn't get really that much kills in this game, but I do get a nuclear, and I, right there I just I died from a freaking wrench. Fuck me. So yeah, so I changed my sensitivity in this gameplay. I only did it for this gameplay. I just want to try it out. Uh, four and four. Horizontal and vertical on four sens sensitivity, which it worked out it's kind of good for a little bit, <clears throat> but sometimes it I couldn't turn as fast as I wanted to. So I after this gameplay, I put my sensitivity back to five and five, which is, which is the best sensitivity in my opinion. Six seems to be a little bit fast sometimes, and four is a little bit slow. So five right in the middle is perfect for me. So in this gameplay, I'm using the HVK with a grip, quick draw, and long barrel. And HVK is basically another sub. It doesn't work well as is to try to do a soul rifle way, but using it as like a sub, a secondary sub, or just like a nice sub gun. And I think it might be the better gun to use. If you don't like the VMP, HVK would be the next best um, gun to use. And the VMP actually can kills a little bit faster than HVK sometimes but HVK is more consistent into that uh, four hit kill range which is really good is that the HVK is, it moves to a little bit slow I like that move really really fast that's why I use the VMP all the time because yeah, it's like the HVK but it kills a little bit faster but you move pretty fast statistically uh the H hvk might be better than the vmp just that i'm more comfortable using the vmp than the hvk just because of the speed or how fast you move so what i think hvk actually outbeats the vmp actually my opinion or actually not in my opinion holy fuck it's actually facts i get melted by hvk so many times even when i use the vmp i shoot him first i still die a lot quicker so for some reason but i still think the h HVK might be better. It's really hard to tell, but I think the subs actually need to uh, have a buff. Like uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually uh, maybe a month ago, they nerfed the subs where they aim a lot slower than they used to. So now they aim quite slow now. A lot slower than they were before. Before it was like almost instantly aiming, which yeah, that, that's, how, that's how a sub should be. It should be nice mobile, but now the aim is as, as fast as a assault rifle so a lot of people are starting to think HVK might be better than than the VMP to use because HVK it's same thing as the VMP it's HVK shoots pretty fast and HVK has a lot better accuracy than the VMP of course it's a assault rifle and the HVK actually aims faster it's actually HVK is the fastest aiming gun in the game right now which yeah, that actually helps but HVK, damn, starting to think maybe the HVK actually might be better than VMP by a lot. Just that I'm more comfortable with the VMP, just the way, the way it moves and the recoil. I just I'm more comfortable with the VMP. I am gonna provide you two nuclears in this video today, uh, because these aren't high scoring gameplays, which I'm a little disappointed about. But they're both nuclear gameplays, just that the game went. A little bit more slower than I expected, so you end up getting less kills, you know. But I do get two nuclear still. I'm just a little bit pissed off that the the Triarch decided to nerf the subs quite a bit uh, since the game launched. Like the subs weren't that overpowered. Now, in my opinion, I think the subs are a little bit underpowered compared to assault rifles because. The KN44 and the HVK seems to outbeat my VMP a lot, like a lot. I would honestly think that the KN44 is actually better than the VMP overall, because if you put long barrel on the KN44, the three shot range is like half to cross the map or some shit. You can three shot people pretty far when you put long barrel on the KN44, and if you guys used KN44 before, the freaking rapid, uh, no. The fire rate on the KN44 is massive. It's crazy how awesome it is. Like I use the KN44, I always do good. It just shoots way too fast. It's pretty accurate. And right here, that should be the nuclear. Uh, yeah, there's the nuclear. 
In my, I think the subs actually be are still better in like a competitive uh, side. But when we try to use the VMP or CUDA on a public match, the K and forty four, the H V K just destroys the CUDA and the VMP by quite a bit. So they actually need a to buff those uh, guns up, or make it back to where subs can uh, aim a lot faster than the assault rifles, because that's how it should be. It's, it's been like that in every Call of Duty. I don't know why Treyarch decided to put subs aim as fast as the assault rifle. It doesn't. That makes absolutely no sense when the K44 has better accuracy, does more damage, and a lot of better stuff. Like even the HVK does it. It's crazy. I also the M8. If M8 can actually outbeat a VMP sometimes, if the uh, if you have good accuracy, like it's crazy how weird the way they did it with the subs. So now we're on to the next gameplay, which, which is another nuclear. Um, there was only three people on the other team for a long time, so I had to skip uh quite a bit of it because it was pretty long and boring. So I do get a mothership, I get a wraith, and I decide not to use it because. I was going for the nuclear because uh, I look at the, my kill streak and bam, I was like on a 15 kill streak by half time, and then a new people came into the game, so I was like, you know what? I could get a nuclear pretty easy. So I went for the nuclear, and I I actually get it for sure. Now this isn't a very this is not a very high killing gameplay. It's more it's like it's nuclear. I just want to share it because. And nuclear should always be shared because they're all pretty cool, in my opinion. And so this uh, setup on in this gameplay, I originally was using the KN44. I was melting with that gun. The KN44 is better than uh, VMP and CUDA com combined. The KN44 is pretty OP. Yeah, same with the HVK. HVK just destroys. Damn, just uh, too bad. Uh, I have even tried to keep him 44 in the competitive uh, side in it. It wrecks. It wrecks for sure. So then I just like pick up random guns. Like I had an XR2 and then I had a Feral I picked up. And I was just destroyed with those guns as well. Like it was pretty, pretty f easy and pretty fun in this gameplay. It's not really, really high killing gameplay. I think I got yeah, like 30 kills, 35 kills or something like that. It's pretty, pretty crazy. And right there. I backed off because I saw the purifier was like, oh my fuck! I was I was gonna die. I was for sure gonna die from that. <laughs> oh, that purifier would have ended my nuclear streak. So recently, the truck put in uh, some nice cod points, uh, supply drops or something like that. Uh, Ten pack a rare supply drops for one thousand cod points, which is fifty percent off. Uh, getting rare supply drops, and I. I hate this. This makes me really just get just angry inside me. Like it makes makes no sense why they would do that. I guess like they just get a little bit uh, more money hungry or some shit. Like why don't you do something that's actually uh, good for the community, not just these just more money, more money, you know? So yeah, this is basically the end of the uh, gameplay for the second gameplay of Nuclears. Uh, I try to get some kills in my mothership. I get a few. And you already saw the nuclear earlier, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. I I try to make my videos uh, quite short because I like them a little bit more shorter because more people want to have time to view it, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed.